was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For they are not courses better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper than a house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those that be met in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in their house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. And we will now have a musical selection by the women of Wesley. Amen, amen. How many believe Jesus will? How many know that Jesus can? Amen. Hallelujah. He opens doors that we can't even see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your blessed hands together. Bad. Fight my battle to fight your battle. 
your name. Thank you, Lord. Because I know that this past week has been hot, super hot. And before we can even bear any more, the Lord said, be still. I'm sending a thunderstorm because I want you to settle down and let me do what needs to be done. and Let me cool things down. I need you to stay quiet and pay attention. And before we knew it, it was cooler temperatures. And what we thought, what we were worried about, we're not worried about because it's already been taken care of. Because next week, we're going to take care of it like we're supposed to. Check those boxes. We're going to meet those people. We're going to hug those that we know. Because we know that sometimes tomorrow is not promised. So we got to take advantage of everything today. So hug and say I love you to everybody that you need to say I love you to. Because guess what? Tomorrow, we don't know. But right now, as today, we know that we're blessed, so we're going to make the most of it today. So I want everybody to huddle together and say, God, thank you for what you have done for me. Because right now, it may be a little rocky, but I know you, like you said, like you're just saying, you're going to take care of it, because I know you will. Fight all my battles, yes. clear the way for me, yes. and I'm gonna listen to your, you know, to your plan. So that decision that I need to be making will be made in your will. And Jesus, take care of our young ones, yes. Yes. because as much as you know, their sponges in, but they have dried out over this past year because they haven't been socked with all the knowledge that they need to. So get them prepared for what they're gonna go into in the new year. Because once we have Fourth of July, we know school is right around the corner. Yes. And one more thing about our young adults, make pray for them. Yes. Because as much as we want to tell them what yes. they need to do so they can stay out of trouble, they have to make their own decisions. So let us just kind of guide them and keep them between the ditches so they can make very good decisions. And if they do make a mistake, let them learn from those, please. So they can become more productive and more satisfied with their life and they can be smiling and glorifying your name because that's what we put into them. So for everybody that's listening to the sound of my voice, I love you, and God is going to take care of us as he said he was, he is, he has, and he's going to continue to do that. So let us just know that we okay, and we're going to be good, and let's have traveling mercies for our pastor who's on our way back home, and she's going to bring some good news. Well, she's already shared, you know, via technology. But the thing is, she's going to tell about all the fun and inter interesting things that she's learned and going to bring back to our to our flock. Yes. And for anybody that is traveling, 
have mercy on you and let you get there safely because we need you. Yeah. We need you. And I need you to remember that you have a purpose. Yes. And for everybody here, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, and do what is right. I know we're going to make some mistakes. Yeah. But guess what? God's going to forgive us for that. So just keep on not making the same ones, but just keep on doing what you need to do and take care of yourself. And again, bless this church, bless this community, bless this city, because we have things in place that are working in our favor to benefit all of us, whether we live here in Maryland or Virginia. But when you come to Dover, you know that you are going to be taken care of because this is a family-oriented, peaceful environment. And we want you to make sure that we're going to make it so. Because I know there's some rocky places, but we're going to smooth those out. Because we're going to take care of each other. That's what we're here to do, serve each other. So I want to say thank you again. Thank you. Thank and you. praise each and every one of us. God, please take care of us. We love you. Amen. Amen. I need thee. Yes, Lord. Scripture by Sister Mary Garner. But he himself went a day's journey through the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he prayed that he might die. And he said, It is enough. Now, Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my father's. Yeah. Then he lay and slept under a broom tree. Suddenly an angel touched him and said to him, Arise. And he looked, and there by his head was a cake. Porch and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came back the second time to touch him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for you. So he arose and ate and drank. And he went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights, and far as Horeb, the mountains of God. I thought King first Kings nineteen one to not be Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. How many know that God will? 
How many know that God can? How many know that God has? Hallelujah, hallelujah. On behalf of uh, Pastor Gray, we welcome you to John Wesley. Those that are in the building, those that are on Zoom, we thank God that you're here. We just thank God today. I don't know about you, and I know I'm supposed to be given the pastoral word, but God, hallelujah, has been so good. We are so blessed. Hallelujah. So I want to continue to praise him. Hallelujah. Y'all know that we just come out of general conference. We have a new bishop, Bishop Julius McAllister. Google him if you want to know anything about him. Uh, Reverend uh, Norris, what's his first name, Trina? Mar Marcella Norris is now the executive uh, director for church growth and development. So we just want to continue to keep the AME church in prayer and those that are in leadership that we won't forget what our purpose is. Amen. And so now we're going to get ready for our offering and those that are on Zoom and those that are in, if you have an offering, whether it be by the app or be the physical offering, we just ask you to just raise your, raise your right hand whether there's something in it or not. Because you know what? God will provide all our needs according to his riches. Hallelujah and glory. And let us pray over this offering. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise for how you continue to supply for us, oh God. Now, God, we ask you to bless this offering that we give freely to you. We give cheerfully to you, oh God, because you always make ways out of no ways for us, God. When we think we don't have enough, God, you give us enough. So God, bless this offering. Receive this offering. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And now we will have the Samonic selection, and after that will be word.
disappointments all around. Trouble speaks in morning sound. Sorrows through a tear-stained eye. There is a world where pleasure reigns. No morning sun shall roam its plains. And to that land. Jesus. Lord, I bow before you right now. God, thank you in advance for what you're about to do through your word, God, through your spirit. God, I thank you for how you continue to lead us and guide us. Lord, I thank you for how you never gave up on us. Now, God, have your way in me. Holy Ghost, have your way in me. Lord, we ask you, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, for your grace and for your mercy. And Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable 
in thy sight, oh Lord, for you are my strength. Lord, you are my redeemer. Jesus, let your word strengthen us. Hallelujah, that you, oh God, get the glory out of this. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We want to thank Sister Mary Gardner for reading the scripture, 1 Kings 19, 1 to the 8th verse. And so I'm going to start at the 4th verse. And it says, but he himself, talking about Elijah, went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he prayed he might die and said, it is enough. Now, Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my father's. Then as he laid and slept under a broom tree, suddenly an angel touched him and said to him, arise and eat. Then he looked and there by his head was cake baked on coals in a jar of water. So he ate and drank and he lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said, arise and eat because the journey is too great for you. So he rose and he ate and he drank and he went in the night as far as he read the mountain of God. I will continue on this journey. Hallelujah. We have just come out of the AME General Conference. Some may be happy with the outcome, and some may not be happy with the outcome. Either way, we must continue on this journey. This journey is not dependent on who gets elected or who does not get elected at the General Conference. All of us have a purpose in the kingdom of God. And we are on a journey to complete this purpose. This journey is about doing what the Lord has called us to do. The Lord required us to tell of the good news of Jesus Christ, to draw people to him, to do justice and to love and to walk humbly with Christ. Christ also gave us the command to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and teaching them to obey everything Jesus has commanded us to do. But on this journey, it is so easily to be distracted. But no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what is going on in this journey, it is about standing for righteousness. For the Bible says, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In the scripture we read, Elijah is on a journey. And at this point in his journey, we find him running because of threats from Jezebel. Jezebel said that she would kill him. So he went a day's journey into the wilderness. He is afraid, he is discouraged, and at this point, he is tired. So much that he prayed to God that he might die. But just like our God does, God sent an angel not once, but twice to encourage him to get up and eat that he may be strengthened for the journey. Sometimes on this journey, we find ourselves in the wilderness, but we must continue on this journey sometimes in this journey we find ourselves in the wilderness but we got to keep going on this journey but how 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 do we keep going on a journey that sometimes seems impossible to complete sometimes we even feel confused on what God wants us to do, how God wants us to do it, and even where God wants us to do it. So how do we continue on this journey? I'm glad you asked. Because first we must remember that we are not 
on this journey alone. Jesus says, lo, I am with you even until the ends of the earth. The Lord is near the brokenhearted and he saves the crushed spirits. Psalms 34, 18. We must remember that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you, O God, are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalms 23 and 4. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Casting all your anxiousness on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 and 7. Continue on this journey knowing that God is with you. He strengthens you along the way. He provides a way of escape for you when you come up against trials and tribulations of this world. On this journey, the word of God is our GPS. The word will help us to connect, stay connected, and focus on what God wants us to do. The word of God will help us in all situations in life and give us daily wisdom. The word of God will help us on this journey of faith. The word of God guides us in the right direction. He will show us what to do. He will convict us when we're going the wrong way. He will show us things in our lives that are holding us back and then some. Hallelujah. We got to remember that we are not on this journey alone. And then we got to help each other on this journey for the Bible says two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor if either of them fall down one can help the other up do not withhold good from those whom it is due when it is in your power you act let each of you look not only to his own interests but also to the interests of other God is not an unjust God. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. We are in this together. We need to help each other, to encourage each other, to love each other. And then, hallelujah, my God, it's going to be worth the trip. Whatever we may have to go through, now is less than nothing. It is nothing compared with the magnificent future God has planned for us. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it on my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and striving forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let us not grow weary in our doing well doing, for in season, due season, we will reap if we don't give up. Hallelujah. If we don't give up on this journey, you will be hated by many for God's name's sake. But the one who endures till the end will be saved. We must continue on this journey. We must stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherefore Christ has made us free and not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. We do not want to go before the Lord and hear him say, you did run well but who did hinder you that you shall not obey the truth we are not on this journey to get before god and he tells us that you did run well but you let some people hinder you that you went through some stuff and you let it hinder you we don't want to go on this journey been on this journey a long time and get before god and he says what hindered you? We have been called to do so many things. Some of us are called to preach. Some of us are called to teach. Some of us are called to witness and evangelize. We got to do what God has called us to do because we don't want him to say, who did you let hinder you? So therefore, my brethren, be steadfast 
unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Continue the good fight of faith. Continue to walk in the strength of Christ. The road may get rough. The going may get tough. And yes, the hills are sometimes hard to climb, but you started out a long time ago. And I started out a long time ago, but there is no doubt in my mind. And there should be no doubt in your mind, hallelujah, that you will get through this that you will continue on in this journey in your purpose. We will continue on this journey even though there are storms that come because he is our shelter in the time of storms. We must continue on this journey even though there are disappointments in this life because we know there is no failure in God. We must continue on this journey even while we are wounded because God is our present help in the time of trouble we must continue on this journey even when we feel like the whole world is against us because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world we must continue on this journey because through it all through it all we've learned to trust in jesus we must continue on this journey because through it all we've learned to depend on his word this journey has made us stronger this journey has made us wiser as we continue to grow in the lord we must continue on this journey even when the enemy shall come up like a flood because the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him we must continue on this journey because God is still working for our good. We will continue on this journey because being confident in this one thing, he who began a good work in you, he that has begun a good work in me will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ. I will continue on this journey because he is my God and in him will I trust. I will continue this journey because he still is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. I will continue on this journey because he still is Jehovah Rapha the Lord our healer. I will continue on this journey because he still is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. <clears throat> I will continue on this journey because he still is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. I will continue on this journey because he still is Jehovah Raha, the Lord our shepherd. I will continue on this journey because he still is Jehovah Taniskanu, the Lord our righteousness. I will continue on this journey because he still is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is here. I will continue on this journey. Even though sometimes I'm tired, but we've come too far from where we started from. You have come too far from where you started from. Nobody told us that this road would be easy but we will continue on this journey because I don't believe he brought us this far to leave us now. I will continue on this journey because God is our present help. Hallelujah. Now y'all know, may know the rest of the story. Elijah finished his journey and God took him up. But what I found interesting is that he passed the mantle on to Elisha. So on this journey, we got to take some people along with us. On this journey, we got to teach them. On this journey, we got to love them. On this journey, we I believe in spirits go from heart to heart and breast to breast. We got to pass on that spirit of love on this journey. So we thank God for encouraging us this morning that if we stay on this journey, like Elijah stayed on his journey, we will. Hallelujah, get home someday. And there's a scripture that says in Judges 18, five and six, then he said to him, please inquire of God to learn whether our journey will be successful. The priest answered them, go in peace. Your journey has the Lord's approval. Our journey has the Lord's approval. But the enemy wants us to think that we're not good enough, 
The enemy wants us to think that we've just done some horrific things that God can never forgive us for. The devil is a liar because God is an awesome God. Grace and mercies are new every morning. So if we fall down on this journey, we just get right back up and we got to stay focused. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right, but look to Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. I will continue on this journey. But I remind you as the choir sang, I do not know how long it will be, nor what the future holds for me. But this I know that if we allow Jesus to lead us, we will get home. We will stand before the Lord and he's gonna say, well done, my good and faithful servants. You've been faithful over a few things and he's gonna welcome us home. So we gotta stay on this journey. No matter if sickness comes, we gotta stay on this journey. No matter if relationships break up, we gotta stay on this journey. No matter what hills we have to climb, we gotta have to stay on this journey. Even when threats are made against our lives, we're gonna have to stay on this journey. Even if we don't understand what this one is doing and what that one is doing, we got to stay on this journey. I know it gets hard. I know it's hard and you get anxious, but we got to stay on this jank, this journey. So many things to distract us, so many things that want our attention, but we must stay on this journey. I will, I will continue on this journey. Amen. 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 Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And my first invitation is to those who don't know this Jesus that we're talking about. Those who don't know this Jesus that will lead you down this journey's path, who will hold your hand yes. no matter where you go, he's there. If you don't know this Jesus and you want this Jesus, we're not telling you that by accepting Jesus that everything is gonna be roses, cause it's not. But we have a Jesus that can get us through anything. We have a Jesus that can strengthen us and give us peace and, and joy in spite of what's going on. So if you don't know this Jesus, those that are in Zoom, if you wanna put something in the chat, we are here to help you accept and tell you about the goodness of Jesus. And then the second, invitation is for those who, who are on this journey. Some of us have been on this journey longer than others. Some of us have had so much disappointment and so many things have happened that we cried out, God, why? But God said, continue on because I'm going to bring you through any sickness. I'm going to bring you through 
any sadness. <laughs> I'm going to bring you through any difficulties. I'm going to bring you through. So if you want prayer to ask God for just a little more. I don't know about you, but I think I need to ask God not just for a little more, but for a whole lot more on this journey. Because God wants us to know that you can make it on this journey. I don't care how hard it gets, you will make it. But you got to keep your hand in God's hand. You got to keep talking to him on a regular basis. If there's anyone else who needs prayer, I invite you to come. Hallelujah. Continue to hold our hand while we're on this journey, Jesus. God for reminding us God how good you are giving us the strength God to want to continue on this journey Lord we give you praise and we give you honor God hallelujah continue to lead us and guide us along this way oh God we want you God we get frustrated God but we're not giving up Sometimes, God, we want to go in the wilderness and stay there because it's better there sometimes, God, when we don't have to deal with stuff. But God, you don't want us in the wilderness. You want us to continue on this journey. Thank you, God, for your joy. Thank you, God, for your peace. But God, we declare today that I will continue on this journey. 
Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to God our Savior who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forevermore. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. journey. Amen.